A final bargaining session underway tonight. The last chance for the Eagle Point Education Association and the Eagle Point School District to reach a settlement and avoid a strike. I don't think I know that everybody wants to avoid a strike. But even this late in the game, the teachers don't trust that the district is ready to make an honest deal. We're not sure if our district's coming to the table ready to do that. We hope so. The two sides locking horns on this new contract since March of last year, but several sticking points remain. Uh, subcontracting out our transportation is one issue. Uh, the classroom instructional minutes, for example, go into a six period day at our high school and prorating the insurance for our hourly workers. The district cites a desire for increased flexibility and a morose economy for their stance on those issues. We're trying to stabilize that. We're trying to maintain that our class sizes and we've been very proud of the fact that we've had you know, full year of uh, school days. The teachers say the district's attempt to prorate insurance for hourly workers would save them $100,000. To uh, do that to hourly workers for hundred grand when you have a $30 million budget just seems uh, unconscionable to me. And while negotiations continue at this hour, the teachers' union has rented out the Grange across from Little Butte Elementary. It'll be their new headquarters. Inside, the on-strike signs are gathering. Even now, there is little faith left as we count down to 6 a.m. Tuesday, an inevitability 14 months in the making. In Eagle Point, Craig Smullen, NBC5 News.